Fala, povo do Utoba! Só no Gameplay Nara, Alex aqui novamente com vocês pra gente continuar com a saga do Guardiões da Galáxia, saga, saga rumo à platina, né? Como eu já tinha falado pra vocês nos vídeos anteriores. Então agora né, começa o episódio 3. Então tá lá, ó, mais que uma sensação. O destino dos Guardiões é entre um caminho estranho quando um misterioso aliado aparece trazendo mais perguntas do que respostas. Enquanto isso, Gamora deve decidir se o sangue é o que importa quando ela é obrigada a enfrentar um culto do passado. Então vamos iniciar aí o episódio 3. Previously, on Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. Cadê a legenda? Meu Deus do céu. Legenda. Transmitir. Olha que legal! Remova músicas licenciadas para evitar problemas com... Nossa, mano, que maneiro, cara. Puta que pariu, muito louca essa modificação que eles fizeram. Tem música licenciada pra caralho esse jogo. Deixa eu ver, foi mesmo? Nossa, cara, muito foda, muito foda. Parabéns pra o Teu por fazer essa iniciativa. Sem dúvida nenhuma. Muito louco. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind. But that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I don't know what's gonna happen next time. I can't promise that. Well, try. For me. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy Come find me Peter. I'll be waiting for you. Sim, sabemos disso. Não é bem assim, mas tudo bem. You nearly there, Peter. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter. They're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. I'll be a perfect little angel, like always. Hmm. I better hurry back then. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. 
How's she doing anyway? <sighs> um, she's not doing so well. I'm sorry to hear that, Pete. Well, I'm sure this is gonna make her feel a lot better. Music's got some powerful mojo. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> You afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> Pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Yeah, maybe she'll get lucky and find a quarter. Screw you! <laughs> Aww, I heard Petey's brutal feelings. You gonna go cry to mommy? Have her change your diapers? Because your daddy definitely can't. You gonna cry now? Huh? Os caras conversam usando violência. É lógico que é partir para porrada com esse ignorante. Aí, só com a cara dele, porra. Uh oh. Hey! Hey, stop! I didn't mean what I said! I, I, I'm sorry! Só com a cara dele. Isso. What did you do? Peter, answer me. He was saying mean stuff about you, about our family. I did this for you, Mom. I don't care what he said. Those are just words. And this is the last thing I ever would have wanted. Are you okay? I think he might have broken my jaw. We talked about this, Peter. I asked you to try not to fight. Look at this. <coughs> Look at this poor boy. Como pobre garoto. É cada uma, viu? Que bagulho ridículo. Oh, God. I'll call an ambulance. You're so close, Peter. What the? Living in the past. Episódio 3, mais oh, que uma home. sensação. Oh, yeah! Sorry, I didn't catch that. This <laughs> this temple is really messing with my head. Hit again. Uh, what'd you say? Hello, Gamora. Ah! Oh, hey, Gamora. Come on, what? what are you doing? You can do better than that. Not Nebula. It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill. Ah! Come on, this isn't fair. I don't have a sword. Folk 
Arcus Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. I know you think you want this, but once you've taken a life, there's no going back. Thanos will make you kill, again and again, and pretty soon that's all you'll be. A murderer. At least I'd be something. Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> that was actually a little impressive. <laughs> Just a little? So much. Father. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> I do. She's come a long way. What a pleasant surprise. Perhaps being bested by your sister recalled the importance of humility. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora, you were always my favorite, but you have become cold, distant. We will not disappoint you, Father. But you already have, Gamora. Otherwise, you would not be taking Nebula with you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care, but if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. <sighs> Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... He didn't look happy. <sighs> Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Avançado Cree, Felion. I guess this is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. <sighs> Good luck, Nebula. I don't need luck. You train me for this. I won't let you or father down. Let's just do this.
Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! Tarval was about to kill you, Nebula. I just saved your life. I know you want to impress Thanos, but trust me, he's not he's worth not dying right. over. Father. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Do it! Gamora, hand it over. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you... Rapaz, ela matou a irmã, é isso mesmo? It's a kind of magic, baby. Apparently it was. Stop. Stop <laughs> Isso é legal. Stop it. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uncle, uncle. Don't do that again. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh... I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I never wanted to think of that time in my life again. I've really been trying to let Nebula go. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. And why she'll never forgive what I did. She tried to kill you. There is no excuse for that. Look, if anyone deserves to hold a grudge, it's you. That's not how Nebula sees it. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. There were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. Gamora, she didn't want your help. She wanted to prove herself on her own. Even if it meant hurting you. I know, but... Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. I'm worried about you. You keep thinking stuff like this, it's gonna drive you crazy. And we've already got enough crazy on this team. This is true. Thanks, Peter. Now, come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... weird. 
Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside. Or why it's been drawing us here. Don't worry, okay? I can handle whatever happens. I promise. I've heard that before. Oh, come on. That time I died? That totally doesn't count. Lead on then, but carefully. this place yeah this is where my mom uh, this is where I saw her last I don't know what all this means Peter but I hope somehow you get your mom back even if that means we'll lose you thanks for uh understanding she's your family your real family I know how much she means to you doida é essa? Masters of Reality Eita porra, olha isso, moleque. É uma igreja do futuro. Looked so so painful. Are you okay? Yes. Now that you are here, not your mom, right? Definitely not. You you came for me after all these. Oh, what are these? They are very shiny. Hey, over here. Oh, Peter Quill. Really here? It's been centuries. No, millennia. I came here expecting to find my mom. I am called Mantis, and I can explain. that 
your gun. It will only be for a moment. Yeah. That's not gonna happen. <sighs> Very well, then. Didn't see that coming. <sighs> it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. <laughs> Perhaps not in the classical sense. What? You must have many questions for me. I crossed the entire galaxy because my mom was calling to me, asking me to come find her. Where is she? She is dead. But your mother, Meredith, she is alive in your memory. Yeah, that, uh, that doesn't explain anything. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the Celestial One, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories, the ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... <laughs> you like my abilities. Most people run away from me. There's still time. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh. No. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure! Oh, this isn't going to go well. And your friends truly are special. No wonder you are the ones to hold the Eternity Forge. It is an honor to be among you. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's got to meet the rest of the group. Yeah, introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. Who should we try on first? É claro que é o Rocket, né? Tá que pariu. I got just the one. Oh yeah. Uh, a momentary lapse of reason. This furry little creature is full of anger. Yeah, because Quill's a prick who only cares about but him. But beneath that, he is unfathomably sad. Hey! Now he is scared and angry. Hey, cut it out! What is this, Quill? What's the bug lady doing to me? Mantis is an empath, Rocket. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. She knows about the Eternity Forge. She says she's connected to it. That's supposed to make me less confused? Oh, I can explain. Long ago. Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like Now, pula. Now that I got this, I'm pula, gonna think I'm all video under. Galaxy like a giant turd and blah blah blah. Skip to the good stuff. Oh, 
I have not spoken to anyone in so long. I was hoping someone would chop, want to chop. listen. You heard the man. Get to the goods. There is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. That's... <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> hey! Come on, guys. Hey! Knock it off! <laughs> it is not funny. Peter is the Celestial One. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this celestial what's-it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is... limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and... Undeteriorated. <sighs> I am broke. Well, that sucks. Who is sucking what? No, he means that is unfortunate. It does not have to suck. What do we gotta do? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the sacred shrine. There you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. Well, let's unlock this thing! You should know. This power comes with a price. <sighs> Saw that coming. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. Until my family is returned I to me. I'm Groot. I, Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean... Maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said, he said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. No cost is too high. Well, right now, I'm... I'm thinking we destroy it. Alla can't get her hands on this again. If she does, we're gonna all be speaking Cree. Or dead. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. You have extraordinarily soft hands. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Was there moisturizer built into that tomb thingy? There was not. <laughs> really? Huh. Well, I guess it's because, uh... Please, stop talking. Okay. Yep, not talking. <sighs> I cannot sense the shrine. There is uh, so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Uau! Demorou, demorou, mas acabou. Então tá aí, pessoal. Vou terminar esse vídeo aqui. Obrigado demais por ter assistido. Se gostou, curte o vídeo. Se inscreve no canal também, ok? Se não gostou, alguma crítica? Serão bem-vindas. 
sem problema nenhum. Valeu demais pelo apoio, pela força. A gente se vê no próximo vídeo e falou!